Hey Hoopers! This video is going to be a tutorial for vertical shoulder hooping, so let's get started. Oh, take off any necklaces you have because I always have this problem. Also, long shirts. When you're first starting to learn this, you want to make sure that you have bare shoulders and if you can have like a bare back, like a tank top or something, that's going to help you out a lot because it'll give you a lot of grip. So, what I'm going to start with is how to get into the um, vertical chest or shoulder hooping. So I had a really difficult time with this so hopefully I can um, clear some things up and help some people just from like mistakes that I learned. But I learned that there are two ways of doing it. One was to start this way and then shove yourself down like this which is what I do most of the time. And then I also learned that you could throw it on yourself and that really I think scared me because I couldn't get it to look smooth and I thought it looked dumb so I never used that throw on one. Another way that I've learned to um, get into this move is by doing breaks which I mentioned in um, another video. What I usually do is I'm hooping on my shoulders and then I break and I start to bend down until and I continue doing the breaks each time but this allows you to kind of use your hands to angle it and also angle your body so you get down there. The other thing is you're not completely bending forward like this. It's more of like a 45 degree angle. I think this is probably the easiest way to do it is to just break down you know, like this. So you want to be able to do continuous breaks if you're going to do this method. With the other one, you're going to go by shoulder hooping and when it hits your shoulders you want to shrug down. So in addition to kind of leaning forward, you have to like push down with this arm. But I would definitely recommend starting with this. So now you're here, what do you do? Well, the trick that I found with shoulder and chest hooping is that a lot of it comes from your knees and your legs. So you want to be kind of loose and you want to bounce. You're going to continue doing the front and back motion that you do when you're shoulder hooping as you go down, but you're going to also build momentum by bouncing in your legs. So when the hoop goes down, you want to go down. You want to like move with the hoop. The shrug is not just in my shoulders and my arms, it's also in my body too. So the other thing is that probably is not going to be that easy for you right at first. So some other ways that I made it easier for myself when I was learning was to sometimes just start down here and then see if I could move my arms in. And for a long time, this was all I could do. I couldn't just continuously shoulder hoop like this. So practice doing this. I mean, if you can do it horizontally, you should be able to do it vertically. Um, oh, and as I'm doing this, I'm noticing that I really do exaggerate the, the, the turns in my back. So particularly when my shoulders aren't in it, when I'm chest hooping or around my waist. And when I'm around my waist, a lot of the momentum is in using my legs to bounce. The other thing, in addition to doing the in and out, is turning and breaking. So those things are going to make it a lot easier because it's really difficult to just stay, be able to do this for a really long time without anything happening. So once you have this kind of thing down, the thing you can do is breaks and then barrel rolls on your chest. And those, I think, took me a little while to get, for sure, they definitely did, but at, by the time I did get them, I was having a lot of difficulty with vertical chest hooping and I've gotten a lot more comfortable since I learned how to turn with it. So we're vertical chest hooping and you'll kind of notice sometimes that you feel like you want to move with the hoop. If you're just going to the left the whole time, you're going to start to... So you'll notice that the hoop kind of has um, the momentum pulling you to the left. If you want to go with that, that's how you get into your barrel roll. Basically, you just want to follow and go with the hoop like that. In addition to that, this is why this is kind of difficult, turning around like this. Definitely hold into your stomach's abdominal muscles so you don't throw your back. 
and you don't have to bend that far. You want to continue doing the pumping motion. So quite often when I'm up here, there's the hoop comes around and it's from being down here, it comes like this. And then by this point it's come around. So I pop it with my chest and then it's on this arm. I'm spinning back down again. Okay, so um, vertical chest hooping, kind of difficult, but hopefully this tutorial has helped and will help some of you guys if you're having a hard time getting it or you're, um, I don't know, having some difficulty or whatever, help you figure it out. And as always, let me know if you, you know, want some advice, like if you want to post a video response or a comment or anything like that. Um, so good luck, hoopers.